How's everybody doing on this Tuesday? Drumeo has this thing where all the artists come in, they hear the song for the first time, some of them chart it out, and then they play it right there on the spot. Uh, Lauren L. Lewis has done it. Jonathan Sugarfoot Moffat has done it. Today, we're going to be checking out Chad Smith from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. It's going to be a good one. All right, YouTube, here we go. I'm Amped. Chad Smith, here's 30 Seconds to Mars for the first time. Let's go. Do you, do you know the song? Have you heard it? What the f*** was that? He's hype. It's some kind of emo thing. I don't know what the <laughs> f*** it is. I feel violated. <sighs> do you want another pass? You no. Do different or? Uh... No. Okay, nice. No, I f***ing nailed it. <laughs> He's crazy. Oh, what do you got? Chad, how are you feeling? You, are you scared? I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. Language. Why, why are you nervous? Because what what kind of music makes you uh, terrified? Anything I don't know. <laughs> well, uh, you're in the right place because uh, I've wanted to do this video with you for a long time. Okay, great. What's so cool, man, about Chad Smith is just how personable he is. Uh, I've seen tons of interviews. Red Hot Chili Peppers, everybody knows him, loves him. Uh, it's like fame hasn't changed this dude along with Lee. Uh, and the rest of the band members, Anthony and all them. Uh, it's so cool. He's hilarious, though. <laughs> so you guys do this thing where you play songs that that, that, other, that drummers don't know or, or probably aren't familiar with. Isn't necessarily their style, yeah. so to speak. This was a hard one to prep for because you're a, you're a drum nerd and you know a lot of music. So uh, we have a few options. So if you know the first one, you gotta let me know. No, fuck you. I, I know it. I'm playing it. <laughs> I don't know this one. <laughs> Just jamming it at home. So here comes some music that I've probably never heard before, and I'm gonna try to play along. I love this series they do because you get to see the process of how they think about not only composing a song, and if any of y'all played in cover bands and you don't know the next move, uh, if you've played an instrument for long enough, you kind of feel where it's going, unless it's something crazy like Animals as Leaders or something. But my guess is here that uh, 30 Seconds to Mars, I don't know how complex and various time signatures they have. I'm sure y'all will correct me. Uh, but I bet Chad can get a pretty quick feel for what's going on. To it and, and do my best, uh, take a good musical stab at it and, and see if I can make sense out of it. What if I wanted to break? Laugh it all off. This is the kill. Uh, bury me. What would you do? You're hearing the full track. Oh, it's in drums. three. I think. What if I felt the he's, he's listening to a drumless track. So he's going to compose his own song. This is cool. Super cool. Do, do, do. Six A. What if I wanted to fight? Even that section, how the dynamic level, he's on that bill, he's really giving it, and then in the verse he's coming down. Super pro. Uh Let's check that out again real quick, that transition. Builds that tension. For one thing, let's talk about who mixes these, man. I love the way those drums sound. Cymbals sound great. Kick sounds punchy. Snare sounds great. Uh, 
awesome. And his playing, the articulations that he uses with the hi-hats or the, the grace notes with the snare. That's what's so cool about Chad Smith. And when him and Flea lock together, I mean, it's amazing. Okay, that's interesting. And I was thinking the same thing because I'm not super familiar with this song. Is it going another level up or is it coming down? He almost anticipated that it was kind of going to come come down a little bit. Uh, so you can kind of see that just for a second, but then he adapted so quickly that it's seamless. Uh, that's cool. Else, Makes it feel so good. Same, same thing kind of there. He's like, where's it going? Uh, but he makes split decision and it almost, it's almost seamless. Uh, let's listen to that section just real quick again. That time he stays in and then now he's adapting, moving to the top. Drops. Perfect. Yeah, so even though he didn't know that drop was coming, he kind of dropped, he felt it, and then the bar, he came back in. Super pro. You can tell he's in a jam band that moves with the band. Peace. Let's run that back. I didn't see that. Drinking the monster. Monster sponsor. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Is that like my chemical? In the end, he was just trying different things and seeing what was working. <laughs> That's crazy. Romance or something? That was actually a really good guess. That was close? That was pretty close. Do you, do you know the song? Have you heard it? It's some kind of emo thing. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck it is. What is that? He's definitely out of breath. The energy he puts into the music is crazy. You know, he's bringing the heat. He's up there, too. He's probably 50-something. Wait. Anyway. <laughs> um, I don't know. The, uh, the song is called The Kill. The yep. band is 30 Seconds to Mars. Ah, Jared's band. Jared Leto. Yes. And it, well, his brother is the drummer. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So how was that? The Joker that everybody hated on. I didn't see it, so I don't have an opinion. Let me know if y'all liked him as the Joker. Shoot it in the comments. Um, Not as terrifying as you thought? No. I was like, once I figured out it was in three, I was like, okay, I can kind of play along to this. It'd be interesting. To yeah. He's calling it three, uh, three, four. I called it six, eight. 
Uh, I'm not necessarily sure. I, I count it as one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Doesn't matter. Uh, gets the waltz fill. One, two, and three, and one. And two. So it it's all the same. I know it's different. If you're counting three, four, the quarter note gets the beat. Six, eight, the eighth note gets the beat. But I'm sure y'all musical nerds will correct me. Uh, but it feels good. So at the end of the day, that's what matters. What the actual drum <laughs> part is. I'm sure it's not as busy as that. Well, we'll, we'll play the original. Uh, before we do that, do you want another pass? Do you want to, is there anything you no. want to do different or? Uh, no. Okay. Nice. No, I fucking nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, right. <laughs> Shit. Good with it. So we'll play you the original. Okay. You can hear the part. Okay. Here it is. That's fun. That was a super close. And that goes to show like his ear is so well. So, I mean, how he hears something, how he feels it very, very close. Maybe some extra bass drum hits in the original. You know, who's going to know? Listen. He's doing a process like basically active listening where he's playing low, but he's also very intently listening on, on what, what they're doing. I was kind of right. <laughs> Hell, Bill. And Chad actually went to a uh, Tom section. Uh, he was he was on that Tom section intuitively, uh, which the song does. <laughs> oh, you got pretty close. That wasn't bad. Well, we might have Man, to do another you, one. You, no, 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 that's fine. <laughs> I just, you know, I'm going to call Jared and say, you know, if your brother gets sick, man. <laughs> yeah, you got a new gig. <laughs> yeah. Get, uh, get Flea to join you? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> what? I got a washer, though. Yeah, this looks like from the, from. Man, hitting those drums so hard, the washers popping out everywhere. If you're a drummer, you know what I'm talking about. And then the drumstick looks like just a pile you're playing on at the end of it. Carpet's done all over the Snare place. tension rod. Mm, must be a drummer. Look at I broke a stick in that song. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. 50 seconds to Mars. <laughs> <laughs> I feel violated. <sighs> um, so I just played to this song that I didn't know. And, and it was it was fun because I love improv. You know what's so cool? And I'm going to run that back a little bit. But for these drummers, especially in this day and age, to put themselves out there, playing the stadiums, but then to come on here and show us like, hey, it, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not perfect all the time. And then just to post it. Uh, super cool. We might do some of these challenges in the future, but I love these. Song that I didn't know. And, and it was it was fun because I love improvising and jamming to like new music and whatever it is. And, um, you know, this is not my normal wheelhouse, this kind of thing. But, um, you know, just trying to listen to the what I think the arrangement's going to be and where there's it's going to verse chorus and breakdowns and verses and try to play what's right. But I don't know, I had a lot of energy in that song. So I just decided to uh, inappropriate over, over play, overplay, which is, uh, you know, Why kind not? of fun. But, you know. Let's get back to shit that I know, okay? <laughs> that was awesome. Love Chad Smith. Love the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Uh, y'all check out Drumio. They're always doing stuff like this. Drumio, y'all got piano, guitario. Got to get something for the bass players, too. Come on now. Love this. So cool. Thanks so much for joining me today. It really means a lot. 
Chad Smith is such a pro. His ability to play, anticipate the next move, and just wherever the song leads, he's ready to go. It's nuts. Uh, Drumio, thank you. Awesome site, educating people about the drums. Guys, if you could like and subscribe and hit that notification bell, it helps us out. We're a new channel. Uh, Y'all been so gracious. I'm loving the comments. I'm loving the communication. Let's keep it going. See you on the next one.